The only movie stars we've seen are on the big screen, but it just so happens one of them's into cool fuel, so we've sent Sean off to meet him. Sean! Hello! Ed Begley, hey. how you doing? I've been hearing about you. Oh, nice to see you, mate. I was afraid you'd get lost. You know, I heard you had some challenge here in the States. You're not speaking to the crew too much, mate. Exactly, yeah. Well, we, you know, we're closer to Polaris. We don't have the Southern Cross to guide yourself <laughs> by. That might be it. Come in and look at some of the solar. Ed's been in Batman Forever. Even cowgirls get the blues, but probably best known for his role in St. Elsewhere. I put this uh, pot out here in the solar oven a while ago, Sean. This is real low tech. Nice and up job. here is the heart and soul of the whole solar electric system. You got all the panels up there on the roof. Look at that. I got a lot of panels. Dave, how many do you have? Well, I got 108 fixed panels. That is to say, bolted down and facing south. I went nuts. I put <laughs> panels everywhere I could. Every south facing roof has panels now. I've run out of place to put panels, Sean. <laughs> On the chimney, mate. There you go. So what a great resource to harness energy from every south facing roof in this nation. That's brilliant. So you're not paying for any energy bills anyway. Right. And then bingo. Yep. Eight so years later, you're in a profit. It's pretty cool. It's a good deal. Plan is for Sean to work for his fuel, and he got his first charge for free. So we got Ed to sort him out. Now, Sean, I know you like to earn your keep wherever you go, and uh, we're pretty much done with the tour. There's one more thing. Could you hop on that bike for a second? Get on the bike? Yeah. This bike is hooked up to the, the battery array. You want me to ride the bike? Yeah, just get on the bike here. And, uh, what do you want me to do? I want you to pedal. Holy dooly. Pedal for what? You're gonna, we're going to make some electricity. I only had a walk around your back garden. Now, you see? See what's happening here? I'm producing power. Just about another 32 minutes, and you'll be able to pay off the amount of electricity we use to power <laughs> the lights here. It'll go by in a flash. Don't worry about it. All righty. But I'm charging up your car for you. Well, you are in a way. You're charging the car and running the house. Put it on the hardest gear for me, Ed. Yeah, that's the idea. You want to generate the right amount of power. That's all mine. Yeah. It's all oh, mine. don't let it die. Oh, sorry, sorry, mate. Sorry. He's got to pay for his fuel somewhere down the line. A little harder, Sean. I've got to print some documents. The toast isn't really browning well. Can you pick up the pace a little bit, Sean? That's great. Now let's move on to the abdominal machine and we'll generate a little power over there. You can hear that sound? Yeah, yeah. That's the car charging on the sun. Fully charged? Yep, it's charged. Nice job. We're topped off on the sun. Now, I know you've done your time in the exercise bike, so you've earned your keep here. Yeah, mate. You're entitled to ride now back to your veggie van. Uh-huh. Because they'll probably still think I lost something. <laughs> let's get you back to the crew. <laughs> Bucky! They had plans for Sparky to do a bit of filming for us. Oh, that's <laughs> cheeky. But it's about 110 oh, degrees, so and he wants no part of it. Hey, wake up, wake up, wake up. He's a reluctant star. We've got to keep ourselves amused for six months. What we call Sparky Cam. We think Sparky might be the key. Now see. Hey. This is our uh, little sparky camera. It's a little, a little 007 camera. That's our lens. Right in the middle there. Now I'm gonna turn you on and then we'll see if we can get some get a picture. Ready? See what Uncle Marty's got happening, mate. See if we have a win. Hey! We're up! Sparky cam leads! Oh look at that! Isn't that cool? You're in business. Thank you, Uncle Marty. Oh, oh, he's going under. Checking out the mechanics. He's having a drink. Oh, <laughs> That's e cam. How's it look under there, Spark? How's that muscle looking, Spark? <laughs> You're a pretty good cameraman, Spark, bud. How's the electrics, mate? <laughs> he's off. He's off. He's off. He's off. He's on a mission. He's on a mission. There you are. The camera didn't last long. It broke when he took off after a squirrel. The plan is for man and dog to head for Chester, where we have another vehicle charged on geothermal for them. I'm just trying to find shortcuts to reduce the amount of miles that I have to do. Dangerously low on power. <laughs> 
Sean's shot at a shortcut hasn't paid off. Hey mate, how you going? Is that you? Marty. Yeah. Sean. What's up? Uh, um, I don't know where I am. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm in the forest. You're lost. <laughs> He's lost. What? You're kidding. Where are you, mate? I guess you don't know that. You're lost. I was on my way to Chester and I took the dirt road. What'd you go up there for? I thought it'd get here quicker. Oh, who gave you those directions? He got directions off some local. And he's out of charge. <laughs> Electric vehicles will run out of charge. Whereabouts are you? Uh, yeah, we're on a dirt road. We're still, we're a ways away, I guess. Sorry, mate. He thought he had another eight miles left in the Sparrow. Says the battery monitor's been playing up. So how much charge does he have left? I'd imagine he's out of charge. I don't know, what do we do? <laughs> If he can't tell us where he is, it's going to be pretty hard to find him. We're not even 100 miles into the trip. We've only got 15,900 to go. Cool fuel sources are few and far between. I don't know, what do we do? If we don't find him, he might be sleeping where he is. Out there with the bears. Are there any mountain lions in here? Or d'oeuvres for Sparky. I reckon he'll be uh, staying with the bears tonight. It's already getting dark in here. Buddy! Hey, how are you, mate? We're wondering where you got to. There's not much we can do for Sean. You're going to leave me out here. He doesn't know where he is, and we don't know where to look for him. Let's hopefully see you sometime in the morning. I just hope he doesn't get eaten out there, and I hope he's protecting little Sparky. After the break, the sky erupts, the forest burns, and the crew simmers. I don't think there's any choice, Therese. He's got to go through there.